Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel, The Light of Grace, and this is Grace. It's time for another Money Job Life reading, and this, this is going to be for the month of September 2023. I'm hoping that you are all in a safe space in your life right now, and I thank so, so much my Aries Collective, my subscriber who's been sticking around with me, and I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And for my new viewers, I'm hoping that there's something about this reading that will resonate and help you. And if it does, please like, share, and subscribe and hit the bell button so you can be notified of any new readings that I might have for you. This is going to be a general reading. Not everything here might resonate. So take what resonates, drop that's not. It's for others to hear. And I do not sugarcoat. This is going to be the money reading, the Iris with job reading, Iris no job reading, life reading. And these are the gifts that the divine has for you for the month of September 2023. Universe and divine gift. And another advice, okay? But before anything else, I want to cleanse your energy, my energy, and the energy of this space for your highest good and mine. Thank you. Let's start with money reading. What's coming your way? You have the king of wands in reverse. Clarified by the empress in reverse. The tower. So just to let you know, Aries, a heads up. And I like and like what I said, I do not show your code. Um, this reading is going to be... If you're not up for a, if you're up for a happy reading, this is not going to be the happy reading. This is for people who are really going through some tough times. For Aries who is really going through some tough times. Okay? And if you want to know the advice of the divine and the universe, then I would suggest for you to watch the whole reading okay two of swords advice clarity and advice guidance and messages you have the lion spirit be generous of spirit here and now and discontent and boredom With this king of wands in reverse, when it comes to money, I should say that you are not in your proudest moment. You're not confident with your money. You're not satisfied with your money. You, you're not fully... fulfilled your goal as to where your money wants to be. This king is really deter this king when they're upright, they're determined. They're gonna do good, do all their best, their strength, their, their strength, their confidence. And this is somebody who's really gonna get whatever they want to get. But having this in reverse, it appears to be that for you, Aries, when it comes to money, you having a, you will have a hard time this September to attain your wish, your goal in regards to money. Right now, you're not, like what I said, you're not in the best position when it comes to money. Your money is not growing. Instead, there's a lot of expenses. There's a lot of things that needs to be paid off. A lot of chaos and drama that, in, that surrounds your money. And it's so hard to see it. It's so hard to swallow it with the two of swords in here. It's hard to for you to have that in your mind. And so... Instead, you blindfold yourself because you, you just don't want to see it. It's too much for you. You are not contented with your money. I'm not, it's boredom and not be questioned. 
It's more of the discontent. You're not contented where your money is. But it appears to be you're losing hope too because you're going to the dark instead of sticking your head into this light and hope and staying positive and keep dreaming. But it seems like you are going to this energies of feeling down, feeling sad, feeling disappointed, not optimistic. There's something changing in here and you might not want it, but there is something changing. There, you might not like what's going through right now, but this tower is not just about the situation that you are going through. This is, is a tough energy tower, but there's, there's the, the tower's intention is always to bring you to where you're going to be happy, to where you're supposed to be, to where your highest good wants you to go. There is a reason to why this is going on. I'm not saying that you've been punished for sure. You're not being punished. But there, there, the reason why this is happening is probably to strengthen your spirituality. Maybe you lost track of that. You lost track of your power. You lost track of your faith. You lost track of yourself. Because with the be generous of spirit, there's something about the spirit leading you to something way better. But that's gonna need faith. And to give the spirit some credit or some appreciation that they're doing this for some reason, for some good reason. A lot of people who've gone through some hardship just doesn't have to be just the money, but hardship in general, in life in general. That when they go through hardship, they sort of blame the divine, the universe for the hardship. Why? Are they being punished for it? Why are they suffering that? Why they're not being why they're not receiving help? Why why is it? Why why? There's a lot of why question. But I always believe that one thing happened because there is a reason to why things happen. There's always a reason to why things happen. It could be the cost of us or it could be the universe wanting to do something about it. But something's planning it. Something's, some, it's somebody's idea. Or something's idea. But if that problem is coming from us, we are the causing the tower moment because we brought it to that situation because we are doing something that is not right. But if we're doing everything right, but it's still happening, maybe there's something the universe and the divine wants you to learn. It's just about perspective. The divine also wants you to be here and now. To not think about the past, but not to think about the future, but to stay here. Here and at this present moment in time to focus on now what can you do now to turn around this issue what can you do now to change how you feel are you just gonna continue sitting feeling discontented about this and just be enveloped by that feeling 
know, and by that situation or you want to rise up and say i'm I, i'm not contented with the money where my money is i'm not happy i'm not growing i'm aware of this well you know what i'm gonna take my blindfold and make a decision and start doing some action because this is suck this sucks you know going through this you're facing the now by dealing with it by accepting the emotion by accepting the situation and by taking action this is you this september but the divine is asking you to be the king of wands in a pride where some who somebody's determined who's who who's somebody who when they want something they go for it with strength and determination and with confidence this is what the divine wants you to do to not be drawn to not be swept away by these emotions by this situation and losing yourself from that because the the, le the lesson here is for you to not lose yourself despite of the situation to stay positive and optimistic and believe in in your faith and believe that the divine and the universe is going to help you that this is not the end and that's this is not the end of the game this is it that there's more to the future but right now how can you deal with this the divine is asking you how you're going to deal with this first thing you should do is to em embody the energy of the king of wands let's go to aries with job what's coming your way you have the seven of cups clarified by the four of swords the king of swords the eight of wands in reverse advice guidance and messages from the divine and the universe you have the koala spirit spirit has plan poised obsessive obs, obstacle sorry obstacle and challenges in reverse being the seven of cups as the energy coming your way this is about figuring things out making decision let's see what that's about having the obstacle and the challenges here and i would read it upright for now and the eight of wands in reverse there is an obstacle and challenges that you're going through at work and it seems like you're having some difficulty how to address this maybe whatever this is is halting your job halting the progress of your project or it could be you're having a hard time communicating this issue or it's not being communicated whatever this issue is so take what resonates this obstacle and challenges can be coming from your co-workers or your boss or it could just be your own project or your own workload if it's a project there's no movement with your project there is nothing changing about your project there, there you're not receiving the result of that or you're not seeing the progress of that project or that workload if it's people that you're having some difficulty you um, the problem is you is either maybe you're not talking to your co-workers because this is communication is this is in reverse that maybe you're not talking to your co-worker for some reason or a specific person at work or there's not a lot of things going on at work it seems like your work is is 
in a serious energy because they're dealing with this obstacle and challenges. What I'm also getting is that your work is going to be in a quiet energy because it seems like the obstacle and challenges is in reverse. This eight of wands is in reverse, so no movement, so no action. And having the four of swords is, is also upright, which is a quiet time for yourself. It seems like mentally, it's like there's not a lot of things going on in your head. It's not a stressful environment for you. It seems like you like that kind of environment if that is the situation you're in. Good for you. So now you're thinking, okay, everything is good. So what can I, what else can I do? You're kind of like still looking for what things you can solve or you can figure out or what else that you can do to kind of take some of the, the weight from your coworkers as far as workloads is, or maybe what else can you do for your work? What else? But if that's not the seat that that's not the energy you're in, I'm if you are sitting more in a problematic situation that there is no movement happening where you're trying to contemplate having the king of swords in here and the four of swords here trying to contemplate and figure out how can I fix this problem in here. You're using all your knowledge and your intelligence to solve this problem. So you're like, what can I do? What is the best way? What is the best method? What is the best movement or plan that you can do to close this cycle of obstacle and challenges or to get rid of this obstacle and challenges? What can you do? What's the smartest way to do it? The universe and the divine is saying, be confident. You can do this. Be this person that's inspired to take action, inspired to do things and inspired to make things happen. Spirit has a plan. What are you planning, spirit? <laughs> Well, all I'm going to say is, <coughs> what's good? Sorry, I have to take my allergy pills. Just want to let you know with this, spirit has a plan for you. The divine and the universe has a plan for you. It might not be related to what's going on right now, or it could be, but more I feel like some, some, the divine and the universe has planned for you, okay? And also the universe is letting you know that you'll be able to go through these obstacles and challenges, that you will figure it out, that you'll find solution to this, that you will end this, that you'll be over soon. Let's go to Aries with no job. If you hear a snoring, if you're snoring, that would be Brewster, my doggy. <clears throat> He's under the table. So Aries, no job, what's coming your way? You have the Page of Cups in reverse. Clarified by the King of Wands in reverse. The World in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The High Priestess in reverse. Advice, guidance, and messages from the Divine and the Universe. You have the White Raven Spirit. Trust in the magic. The Fates. Suffering in Silence. Or the Nine of Wands. Having the page of cups in reverse is an energy of not happy. 
not emotionally happy. Can't blame you, Iris, with no job. Who would be happy when they don't have a job? And again, I just want to clear this one. If you, this reading is only for Aries who's actually looking for a job, okay? Not for Aries who's, who does not want job or who's just sitting around and doing nothing. This is for Aries who's actually doing something to find a job, okay? So, yes, you're not happy with the situation that you're in right now. It's not like you're not doing anything. You are doing something. This is the nine of wands. You are standing. You're standing still. You're not giving up on this. You are going to climb up this mountain just so you can see the sign because you want to stay hopeful. With the king of wands being reversed, this tells me that you don't know what else you can do. What action, what else that you can do to find a job? Right now, obviously, money is, in, is depleting. You don't feel abundant. Your life is not stable. Your material world is not grounded. It's not stable. It's not secured. Your world is in chaos and you're stuck in this cycle and you, you don't know what to do you can't figure it out you, you don't know you have you can't it's like your intuition is blocked here and for some of you maybe you're losing faith because the high priestess is a spiritual energy. Can't blame you why. Can't blame you why you have this page of cups. You're not happy because you don't have a job and money is really suffering. You, your 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 material world is being affected by this no job situation. You might be in pain. You might be suffering, but you're keeping it to yourself. That's why suffering in silence, it's inside you. You're suffering inside you, but some people, they don't see that you're suffering because you're trying to stay strong. You're trying, you're trying to be tough. As far as advice and guidance, these are two beautiful energies. With the right white raven spirit, trust in the magic. You might not be seeing the possibility of finding a job. You might not be having anything that would give an idea that you're going to have a job. You just got to trust that there is something out there for you that's meant for you that it's destined for you to have there is a job out there that is really for you my dear Iris with no job that's gonna make you happy that's gonna make your wish fulfilled but there is a need to trust for this there is something unseen that you have to believe in you gotta start having faith not if it, if you're not a religious person then start having faith within yourself that you can do this that you can find a job that you're not going to give up on this but if you are a religious person or you believe in spirituality then this is just saying that continue to trust in this and believe that there is something for you out there a job that is really just meant for you The sun will shine in due time. If we hear some sound, that's the AC. Oh, that's good. 
went away. Now let's go to the life reading. What's coming your way? You have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Clarified by the Hermit. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Knight of Swords in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Wands. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Advice, guidance, and messages from the Divine and the Universe. You have the Antelope Spirit. Life is speeding up. Serendipity. Solitude. Solitude is also Hermit. King of Pentacles in reverse as the energy coming away. This is you. This is the energy you're going to be embodying. And this is the energy that's coming to you this September. When the King of Pentacles is upright, everything in his material world is stable, grounded, secured. He's happy, contented. But when he is in reverse, it's an energy where he doesn't feel happy, not contented, not confident. Maybe even the feeling of loss because his his material world is in shamble, is not stable. Right now, as far as your life in general, especially money-wise, it's halted there is no progress there is no abundance there is no productivity there is no nothing as far as money you might even have a hard time supporting yourself with the nine of pentacles being here in reverse Maybe you're even having difficulty relying on yourself or depending on yourself. Financially, you're really, financially, you're really in, you might be really in trouble. You might really be in, in a depressing energy because money, when people have money problem, it really affects them. Really, I think it really affects them. It affects their mind, their emotions. And affects the material world. There is no movement. Knight of Swords is in reverse. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So no movement. At all. You kind of... Is stuck in this... Loop... This loop of unfortunate event, especially with money. But even if you're doing this, you haven't totally lose focus. Because you have the hermit twice in here. It's, re it's emphasizing that you are there trying to figure things out trying to find the light trying to understand trying to educate yourself trying to do something the best way you can to go through this to go through life you're trying to find light but through this process, through this situation, there is something that you're tapping into that maybe you're not so well aware of. This is going within. With this two hermit here, you are going within. You are going through some hermit mode. When you're by yourself, you're tapping into the hermit mode energy. Booster, can you go? Booster, go, go. 
Okay. Go scratch yourself outside. <laughs> you're you through this. You're you. Uh, I'm gonna say this. This situation. I'm not gonna say that it's happening because of a reason. That maybe one way for you to learn and to understand you and to gain wisdom about you is to go through this. And like what I said, I always believe things happen for a reason. And the divine and the universe has a reason to why this is happening. You're not being punished. And, and don't blame the divine and the universe for this. There is a reason why you're in this situation. But the result and the reward of this is you empowering yourself. When you come out of the hermit mode, there's always this energy of empowerment and feeling whole and feeling better. Because you realize that what you used to be is not what you used to be, that you are something much more or much better than what you were then. And maybe the universe is just using this money issue for you to really feel so in your lowest point in order to bring your power back. Sometimes we have to go through the hardest, hardest situation. And I have gone through that so I can resonate and relate or relate to the situation. You have to get to the point when things are just totally crumbled like a tower. When all the towers all like flat in the ground and nothing left and that's what you're feeling like nothing's left your ego got step on you don't have any more pride you don't have your confidence affected your self-esteem is affected you're thinking that maybe people would look at you funny your hope and faith is depleted it's like everything is just like this you're at the bottom of the the well or the pit that you can't climb yourself up because it's so dark and just so hopeless and there's no air and it sm smells like wet soil and all that stuff but that darkness is what they're calling also the dark night of the soul where you get to see who you really are in the toughest moment of your life you get to really see your strength and your your weakness your ability your capability in who you really are or maybe that darkness would also a way to recognize what are the things that you thought it was right or you thought is 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 worth believing but now it's like whoa i i thought it was like that but it's not like that there's a change of belief there's a change of per perception here when you go through the dark night of the soul. Because right now you're not your best self in the material world. And you're not manifesting that strength. Because this is the king that, that's present in the world. That's present in the 3D world. The material world. Even you, king of the ones, is in reverse too. You're seeking guidance to really know where your life is heading. Just to seek guidance so you can better your life. And through this hermit mode, you're coming out with a different way of seeing your life. A different way of seeing your horizon. A different way of seeing your future. And this time you are going to be inspired because... You're coming out of this hermit mode with some power. You're still at the bottom of the pit, but you have this eagerness now to fight back and to change things because you realize that you can actually change your life if you really put your mind to it. With this serendipity here, like what I'm saying, this situation happened to you 
not because of it's your fault but because it's meant to happen because sometimes people were too busy doing things with that we don't have time to go through our spirituality or strengthening our own inner self or inner world because we're too busy and sometimes we go through some hardship for us to realize that even the the, the celebrities the rich celebrities they they might be rich they may be million dollar and they make some you know they're million they're millionaires but doesn't mean that they're happy and so sometimes the universe will throw them some problems that they have to go through but they come out of it with some power because they faced it and this is probably the reason why you're going through this because the divine wants you to see your worth wants you to see and realize that you're powerful wants you to realize that you can be a very confident person that you can make things happen in your life even in the material world even the money life speeding up this is something that you don't know the universe is kind of getting you to get into this hermit mode because they're really pushing you to your life to where you're supposed to be they're taking you to your destination they're taking you to your destiny they're taking you to your destiny but you seem to be in a slower pace for a while aries that they have to do something about it it hurts it's heavy and it's hard it might seem but they're taking you there because they want you to get to your destination it's like the universe this is kind of like an analogy okay they really feel like you're behind because maybe there is a a bus there's a place that you have to be and that place that's where everything is going to be happening that's where things come into fruition is is a place where wish can be fulfilled and the universe wants you to get there the divine wants you to get there so you can have the things that you want in life that that you have been missing and so here the divine saying you're you're sitting around and doing whatever you want to do that you're doing you're supposed to be doing right the universe is like showing some sign or nudging you to get your ass up grab your bag go to the bus station buy the ticket because this bus will take you there but instead you decided to sit down or watch your favorite show but you have this inkling feeling inside you that you have to be somewhere but you kind of ignored it so what the universe did okay maybe there's a blackout or a brownout the tv somehow just turned off because there's no electricity so you're disappointed what you're gonna do okay maybe you still have this notch that you have to take the bus and go to your the place that you think it's gonna make you happy before you were kind of holding on to it because you're you're not so sure about it but now it's like okay fine 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 i'll take the bus there's no show anyway it's blackout might as well grab my bag go to the bus station buy the ticket take the ride and then there you are there is a little bit of a push that needs to begin that there's a little push coming from the universe towards you because you've been lagging and there's something beautiful awaiting for you and the universe is rushing you to get there so you have the king of wands in reverse the seven of cups in upright the page of cups in reverse and the king of pentacles in reverse for a while now my dear aries collective 
your masculine energy is being affected. Your desire, your inspiration, you don't have the inspiration to take action. You don't have the inspiration to go for the things that you wanted. Your money is, deep, is being affected by it. Your material world is kind of having, is going through some hardship. Your, it's just like your power, your masculine power is affected here. This September 2023 is about you empowering your masculine energy. It doesn't be, it doesn't have to be you can be a female but we all have masculine and feminine energy within us. But this September you have to deal with this king of pentacles and the king of wands in reverse. You have to empower yourself. You have to be con be confident to change the situation that you're in. Because right now you're overwhelmed and you don't know what to do and you're not happy about it. You're not going to sit around and just sit in this moping energy, overwhelming emotions, confusing energy. And you're just gonna, not going to do anything about it. You're not solving anything just by sitting around and feeling sorry for yourself. So you have to be the king of wands in a pride and you have to be the king of pentacles in a pride in order for you to sort this situation up and for you to be happy again. Fiona, Fiona Flappington. If you stumble, make it part of the dance. This is just goes perfectly for your reading. Before we can perfect the dance, before we can make the dance beautiful, as this Fiona, she, she, what she's doing is she's trying to do ballet, but she stumbled upon this strings of rerun that she have a hard time dancing. And you are having the same issue here too. You want to enjoy life, you want to be better, you want to do this, but there is the situation that's actually in a way that causing like an obstacle or challenges. But that challenges, that obstacle is leading you to realize that there is much better things in life, that it's that there is more things to learn from your inner world that you might not have. Be, that you might that maybe you haven't tapped into yet that if you stumble if you trip while you're dancing doesn't mean that you're gonna stop dancing that make it a part of your dance maybe when you land on the ground maybe strike a pose to make it like you are intentionally done it you know and continue dancing don't let this problem stop you from moving forward. Don't let this obstacle or this problem to stop you from enjoying life that you deserve. Gift from the divine, new cycle. Financial stability. Awakening. Financial abundance, healing, and pet. Okay, let's the pet for some of you, my Aries, you're gonna end up having a pet. It's either adopting it or giving it as a is being given as a gift, or somehow you just have a pet. However, it comes, you're gonna have a pet for some of you. And if you don't like pet, it's okay, you don't have to have this gift. There's two financial stability here and financial abundance. Financial abundance, and when I say abundance, it's feeling okay and feeling good about where your money is. And that's what the divine and the universe is gifting you this September. 
they're gifting you this beautiful energy that you're gonna be okay financially but i do feel that this financial situation might not arrive yet this september because i'm feeling that there is something for you to still learn and this financial stability and abundance will come to you when you learn the lessons you have to learn because through the process of suffering and in being in problem and in by having problems it pushes you to strive to thrive and to go through it with that situation and through that in its confidence power and faith and optimism and so on awakening this is what i'm trying to say that the reason why you're going to this financial issue or if your material world is crumbling because you being awake and that's one way for you to notice the divine and for you to notice the universe there making your eyes open and open your soul and realize oh my god i am a, in a dipshit here i am in a difficult situation right now after realizing that you're just gonna sit there and that's it and oh i have problem yeah okay that's it no when you had realized you had this big problem it pushes you to bring all your weapons out to fight yourself with these problems that you're having another analogy not exactly a real thing it's analogy okay if you're a person who wants life to be better you're gonna strive hard to go through this but through the process through that journey you're learning a lot that is the awakening i'm talking about the div the universe is awakening you to your power as the king of wands and as the king of pentacles the universe and the divine is also gifting you new cycle this is the new cycle going through this spirituality and once you figure out the lesson you have to learn here and what you need to know about yourself that is a new realm of beauty that, that will come into you, the new power that you're going to be embracing and enjoying. We're going to continue having cycles in our life. We're going to continue getting stuck in some if we don't learn the lesson. The only way we can get out of a cycle is to learn the lesson we have to learn and then go to the next one. This is the new cycle. It might not be a pleasant cycle, but there is something beautiful that you will get at the end of this journey. Trials is at the beginning of it, and success and empowerment is at the end of it. And then you will enter another door again, another cycle. Each cycle, each cycle it depends on what we do with it. This is your reading, my dear Aries. I thank you so much. I am sending you lots of love and light and healing. Bye-bye.